Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's another episode of Booth Blab, and today I'm blabbing about numbered hits. Now, longtime subscribers to the channel know that I talk a lot about spoils packs for pledges to the Clarice Goldberg Scholarship, a college scholarship I created in honor of my mom. And as I am preparing to show off uh, in future episodes a few pre-made spoils packs, like what I've got right here, uh, basically the starting pledge to the scholarship is $25, and you get one of these 25-card cases full of awesome cards of your PC team and players. So uh, I'm not going to go through these, but here you can see we got a Yankee one, and that's where we got Miggy and Glaber rookie cards in there. Got uh, a Washington Nationals pack, full of good stuff. Got a Strasburg relic right there. This may already be taken. And then uh, a just thick, there's way more than 25 cards in here, maybe 30 almost, um, of reds full of foil and cool hits and just awesome good stuff. Got a relic right there. Rayso Iglesias, Sepia Refractor plus the Joey Votto uh, Candy Topper. Just awesome stuff. So that's kind of like a little brief uh, look at a spoils pack. And so as I'm preparing pre-made spoils packs and I've been chatting with and uh, talking to subscribers about spoils packs and cards for spoils packs and I thought numbered hits are going in these and so let's go through some of the hits that I've pulled over the last year or so and if you see something you like you can let me know and as I build out a spoils pack I can curate it just for you uh, and so we'll start here with some Bowman because it's still kind of the hot product Got this nice Chad Spangenberg, Spanberger, yeah, Spanberger, not like Cody Spangenberger. Uh, this is the only blue shimmer I've pulled, and I pulled no autos, but it's numbered 140 out of 150, uh, which is pretty cool. Actually, no, I take it back, 148 out of 150. This is last year's Bowman right here, Quentin Holmes, Jason Martin, Mitch Keller, 63 out of 99. 69 out of 99, Riley Pint, Jeter Downs, and uh, of course, this I pulled an earlier break, and Nick Senzel just made a splash the other day, two home runs from the leadoff spot uh, for the Reds, and uh, this might have been one of the best hits I pulled in the 2019 Bowman. Uh, did not put it in the Reds pack, so maybe there'd be two Reds packs. I do have other... actually put a lot of good Reds cards. Um, this one uh, from Chrome Update, and the numbered refractors were really tough to pull. And so, did luck out and pull this one, Francisco Lindor, number 101, at a 250. Uh, I was, you know, like, man, I'm really not pulling big hits, and uh, some uh, fab subscriber made a comment that the numbered cards in update were just really, really tough to pull. Uh, and then, of course, Jose Barrios just dominating. Young, hot pitcher. Uh, this is a Chrome, Heritage Chrome out of 2019, numbered 476 out of 570. And Topps Fire uh, was a really fun product. We'll see a little more fire here in a second uh, because that break, I just had a lot of fun. There were, they were so colorful, uh, and you got a lot of these like foil cards. I pulled a bunch of numbered cards. Uh, I think I got you get two, maybe it was one or two guaranteed autos in the in the hobby box. Um, cards were a lot of fun. You get Hall of Famers. I mean, it was just a great product. So we got a nice Harrison Bader, forty six out of ninety nine, rookie. Could make a really nice uh, Cardinals spoils pack and. Some of the upcoming spoils packs are going to have really cool vintage. And you're not going to want to miss that. Uh, but like I said, I'll be showing those off uh, in the not-too-distant future in any, any pre-made packs, which basically will be I'll show the what's in the pack, and I'll say, hey, you know, drop me an email, make a pledge of $25 or more if you're generous, and you get the spoils pack. Uh, so from a Bravos fans... I went on a Max Freed run. I've got a lot of Max Freed, but in that Topps Fire, the, you know, they have the color variations, and I pulled two of them. 
And I love this one, 299 out of 299 and 144 at a 199. Uh, so for the Braves fans, I could put together basically almost a whole pack of Max Freed. They have a lot of young pitchers that uh, I've actually got, like not just Max Freed, but pulling a bunch of their stuff. Chris Archer, nice uh, card here with the, he's with the Pirates now, uh, number twenty out of fifty. Josh Donaldson back in the show, hitting again for the Bravos. A nice pickup for them, number thirty-four out of two fifty. I pulled a bunch of Adam Jones. I think three Adam Jones numbered cards. One is already in a, I believe one I put in a Orioles spoils pack that's in the works. He's a diamond back now, but number 223 out of 250. Zach Kozar. This was uh, one of the only numbered cards I pulled, um, again, other than that Francisco Lindor out of the update. I think these are the only two, Zach Kozart and Lindor, so... 119 out of 250. They're really nice. I, I do like those refractors from Topps Chrome. Andrew Heaney, this is from 2019. 23 out of 50, so it's a 50 hit. Not bad. Anderson Simmons, number 51 out of 199. Again, more of that Topps Fire. It was just so many fun inserts, fun break. Tim Anderson, been in the news quite a bit. Not just for his play, uh, but uh, in the news, number 215 out of 250. Really good player. Jake Lamb pulled a bunch of his stuff, too. I've got autograph of Jake Lamb, numbered hits. This was uh, number 230 out of 299. I think that was from my hobby box, maybe. And it was one of those cards, like, I glossed right over it, and thanks to a fab sub for pointing it out that it was a, they could tell because it had the black. That was the variation. You hear me mention him all the time, Dustin Fowler. I've got so much Dustin Fowler and actually got a chance to watch him play for the Aviators uh, in Las Vegas. I don't know if he's going to get back up to the show or what. Uh, my guess is yes, because he's a good player. He just sort of got hurt with that knee injury when he was with the Yankees. Um, but a good player. And this is the only gold uh, prism or whatever out of chrome I pulled. And it, the, the gold is really, really beautiful. Number 28 out of 50. Again for my Bravos fans, Mark Kakis. Number 42 out of 175. Uh, this was fun. Uh, I love to, like a hawk, he's not a big Jason Hayward fan. He's there. He's like, hey, paid him a lot of money, he doesn't do anything. So shout out to like a hawk cards. Congratulations on passing 600 subs. I hope to catch you at some point. Uh, but this is the only uh, vintage back I've ever pulled. And you can really feel it when you hold it uh, raw in your hands, uh, the back of it. And it's 83 out of 99. Any Cub fans out there. And a little Heritage Chrome to round it out. Nomar Mazzara. Pulled this uh, in California at um, Hall of Fame Sports. Hanging out with uh, Card Shop Eric. Number 564 out of 999. Just one, bought one fat pack. Pulled that. Got a nice Longoria. This was not from the Heritage Chronicles. The Heritage Chronicles, a limited series. Which just wrapped up. You can check the booth blab on that. This was before. This was like very early uh, in my getting back into collecting. Uh, 163 out of 569. Pulled that one. And then uh, Kenta Maeda, again, also before the Heritage Chronicles. 62 out of 69. I think perhaps the only black I ever pulled out of Heritage. Uh, and so you know, that's classic channel shenanigans. You know, I've got some nice numbered cards here, but uh, still hoping that as the channel continues on, we pull some like numbered autos and just numbered relics, cool stuff like that. So far, we have not had that kind of good fortune, uh, which is another thing that actually makes the spoils packs a little easier and more affordable. So if you think figure you're spending $20 on a blaster uh, or a couple fat packs or whatever and you get maybe one or two cards for your PC at least in this case for that same price and it's a pledge to a nonprofit uh, for a college scholarship you get all awesome cards uh, so if you see something you like in this booth blab episode send me an email my email is in the about tab 
and uh, I will work it out for you. Or if you're just feeling particularly generous today, check that description below for the link to the Clarice Goldberg Scholarship. Stay tuned for some really fun breaks coming up. Uh, really looking forward to hearing from you all. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.